short from the book of Daniel chapter 11 verses 32b Daniel 11 32b Daniel chapter 11 Verses 32b. B. This is what the Bible says. But. The people who know their God. Shall be strong. And carry out great exploits. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Your word, oh God, is you. Whenever, Father, we read your word, we read your heart. We read your mind. We read your mind. Towards us. We read your plans. It is you speaking to us. Concerning our lives. Concerning our future. Concerning everything that pertains to us. Father, we thank you for your word. Because we cannot separate you from your word. It is through your word that we get to know you better. Thank you for your word. The word that you give unto me. Father, as I share it, anoint it. Let it apart. Let it a place in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to speak about knowing your God. The Bible is very clear that the people who know their God so the first thing is to know your God. Not the God of your religion. Not the God of your bishop. Not the God of your pastor. Not the God of the land. But people who know their God. How much do you know your God? Because it is knowing your God where the secret is. The Bible says, once you know your God, then you will do exploits. What does it mean? You minus knowing your God, there are no exploits. What is the meaning of exploits? If you are a business person, your business will be a business of difference. Because of you knowing God. If you are in marriage, your marriage will be like no other. The secret is you have known your God. Your children will not be like children of your neighbor. Because you have a secret in you. That you have known your God. There are two things. You may have the knowledge of your God. Having a knowledge of your God is knowing, not knowing your God. For instance, we have theological schools. There are good schools. 
shule. I was listening to one of media stations this week. And this is what they were saying. When pastor to pastor in any church, Iho must have attended a theological school and given a credit. Have the knowledge of God. You don't need to have the knowledge of God. You need just to know God. Those are two different things. The Bible doesn't say that people who have the knowledge of God. The Bible says them who know their God. God. For you to know God, you will only know God through His Word. Somebody was asking me, He was not born again. He was asking, Why do we have so many religions in the world? We have the Muslims who believe in their God, Hala. We have the Hindus who believe in their God. We have the Rastafarians who believe in their God, Jah. We have others who believe in their gods. Then he was asking me, when do we have so many gods? But we have one devil. I looked at that person and I said, this person has a sense. Why should we have so many gods? But we have only one devil. Them who believe in Jah, they know there is devil. Them who believe in Allah, they know there is devil. Them who believe in chaos, they know we have the devil. And we only have one one devil. The Bible says them who know their God. Not the God that you hear of. You know, men, men of us, we Christians, I'm speaking of we Christians. We have some form of godliness. Some form of godliness. But the truth of ma the matter is percentage kubwa in our lives is carnality. Even though we have the form of godliness, yes, we can say Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes, we can carry the good book, the Bible. But percentage, the, 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 the big percentage in our lives is carnality. You see, sometimes when you speak about carnality, people speak, think of being carnal, that is sexually. But you can be a good Christian but a carnal person. You can be carnal by the way you speak. The words of your mouth can prove to be a person who is carnal. If I can take maina, then we go and stand to a certain corner. We start speaking against Gertrude. That's been carnal. And the, 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 what we are speaking about Gertrude is not positivity. We are speaking of how, how, how our hair was looking like. How she was dressed. How our shoe was looking like. The negativity. Kano. That's why Solomon is saying there are most, most, more foxes. Solomon is not concerned about those big fox. These little, little ones that destroy the fire. 
Hiyo ndiyo wanasema. Iharibia msabibu. The small foxes. Zile mbwea ndogo ndogo. People who know their God. Watu ambao wanamjua Mungu wao. This is me. Huyu ni mimi. And the people whom I have worked with. Na watu ambao ametembea na yeye. They can also speak. Wanaweza thibitisha. Wanaweza thibitisha. Me I don't entertain speaking against people. And, this is me. and if you want to be my, my, my distance friend, come to me with speaking of negativity against other people. What is shall it benefit me? What is shall it benefit me? At the end of it, what is the gain? Nitapata nini? Small small foxes. Mbwea wadogo wadogo. The people who know their God. Watu ambao wanamjua Mungu wao. God is very much concerned about those small small foxes. Mungu anashughulika sana na wale ambao ni mbwea wadogo wadogo. Brethren we have to stand our ground. Mandugu lazima tusimame. And say like Joshua. Na tuseme kama Joshua. In the book of Joshua. Katika kitabu cha Joshua. That is Joshua chapter 24 verses starting from verses 15. Joshua 24 kuanzia 15. Give us Joshua chapter 24 starting from verses 15. Tupe kitabu cha Joshua 24 kuanzia 15. See what Joshua is saying. Ona kila ambacho Joshua anasema. It doesn't matter people how people are living their lives. Haijalishi vile watu wanaishi maisha yao. You have to make your personal decision. Lazima uchukue chaguo lako. And say like Joshua. Na useme kama Joshua. And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord. Na ikiwa itaonekana mbaya kwako kumtumikia Bwana. Choose for your sake this day whom you will serve. Jichagulie leo yule Mungu ambaye utamtumikia. Whether the gods whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the river all the gods of the Hamorites in, the, in in whose land you dwell but as for me and my house lakini kwangu mimi na nyumba yangu we will serve the lord tutamtumikia bwana god is a god of person uh, individuality mungu ni mungu wa ubinafsi we don't have a god of faith home Hatuna Mungu wa Faith Homes. But we have a God of Pasawambua. Lakini kuna Mungu wa mchungaji wa mbua. We have a God of Heldawanka. Kuna Mungu wa Mzee Wanga. We have a God of Evangelist Mahina. Kuna Mungu wa Evangelist Mahina. And it, this this what makes the difference. Na hii ndio inaleta utofauti. Because God works on personal basis. Kwa sababu Mungu ushughulikia mtu kibinafsi. That's why we will have people. Hiyo ndio sababu kuna ministers. Miongoni mwetu. Yes, you joined Faith Home in, in 20 years ago. Ndio, uliingia Faith Homes miaka mingi iliyopita. But you are still there. Lakini bado umesalia. Somebody mingi. joined in Faith Homes 5 years ago. Na mtu akajiunga na Faith Homes miaka mitano iliyopita. He is serving in present the worship team. You are just comfortable at your comfort zone. Because with you it is okay. This is what makes the difference. Hapa ndiyo inafanya utofauti. Who is God in your life? Mungu ni nani katika maisha yako? Because God whom God is in your life is what it determines whom you will be. Kwa sababu Mungu alivyo katika maisha yako itajalisha utakuwa nani. Joshua said. Joshua kasema. Me and my family. Mimi na nyumba yangu. Mimi na nyumba yangu. Mimi na nyumba yangu. Sio mimi na wana wa Israeli. Hakusema mimi na wana wa Israeli. Sio mimi na nyumba ya Jacobo. Hakusema mimi na nyumba ya Jacobo. Ni mimi God narrows down to personality individuality. Mungu anaenda kwa mtu binafsi. Who is God in your life? Mungu ni nani katika maisha yako? Daniel. Daniel. In the same same book. Katika hicho kitabu. Daniel chapter 3 verse 11. Daniel 3 11. This is Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Huyu ni Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. People who knew their God. Watu ambao walimjua Mungu wao. People who stood their ground. Watu ambao walisimama ndabiti. And the weapon does not fall down and the worship shall be cast into the midst of a burning fairly furnace. Continue. 
Then Nebuchadnezzar in Iran and finally gave the command to bring Shadrach, Meshach, What is happening? Oh, there are certain Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the provinces of Babylon, Shendrak, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O oh king, have not paid due regard to you. They do not serve your gods or worship the, the god image which you have set. Continue. Then Nebuchadnezzar in Rancha Defal gave the command to bring Shendrak, Meshach, and Abednego. So they brought these men before the king. Continue. Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying to them, Is it true, Shendrak, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship the gold he mentioned which I have set up? Continue. Now, if you are ready at the time you hear the sounds of the horn, flood the harbor, low and the uh, uh, Santari in the symptom with all kinds of music and you fall down and worship the image which I have meant good but if you do not worship you shall be cast immediately into the midst of a burning fire furnace and who is the God who will deliver you from my hands 16 Shendrak Meshach and Abednego answered and said to the, to the king Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. Continue. If that is the case, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fence fire and will deliver us from your hands, O oh king. 18. But if not, let it be known to you, O oh king, that we do not serve your gods. No will we worship the God, the image which you have set up. The people who knew their God. The people who stood to be counted. The people who said we will not bow to foreign gods. The people who said no to the gods of the land. By they stood up to their God. Daniel 6.16 Daniel 6.16 Daniel 6.16 So the king, this is now Daniel. So the king gave the command and they brought Daniel and cast him to the den of lions. But the king spoke saying to Daniel, you are God whom you serve continually. He will deliver you. Mm -hmm. Give us 25. Jump to 25. Then King Darius wrote to all people, nations, and the language that dwell in the earth, peace be multiplied to you. 26. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men must tremble and fear before the God of Daniel. For he is the living God and steadfast forever. His kingdom is the one which shall not be destroyed. And his dominion shall endure to the end. This is king making a declaration. Because of the stand of Daniel. Because Daniel knew his God. Because Daniel stood up for his God. Because Daniel said no. To the traditions of the land. Because Daniel said no. To the parties which were set. To the gods. We are brothers in the church. Born again Christian. But they have refused to be set apart. You know what it means to be set apart. A sister in the church. Born again. Speaking tongues. Maybe in one of the departments is a leader. Whenever he goes home. People cannot say about his or her stand. 
Watu hawawezi kusema kuhusu msimamo wake. When there are doing cultural celebrations. Wakati wanafanya sherehe za tamaduni. You are in the front line. Wewe ndio wa kwanza. Somebody born again. Mtu ambaye ameokoka. Who knows the word of God? Ambaye analijua neno lake Mungu. Goes back to the village. Anarudi mashambani. And he wants to wed in the Kikuyu way. Na anataka kumoa binti wa Kikuyu. A born again Christian. Mfalme wants to wed in the kamba Mkristo ambaye ameokoka anataka kufanya harusi katika njia ya kikamba Yet we have a halter Ili hali tunayo madhabahu A halter of God Madhabahu yake Mungu Where God has ordained servants Mahali ambapo Mungu ametoa watu wake Where should you go mishi? back to your community Kwa nini urudi kwa You are a person who has been chosen Wewe ni mtu ambaye umechaguliwa A person who has been set apart Mtu ambaye ametengwa People who know their God Watu ambao wanajua Mungu wao You want to go back in the village and engage yourself to the people at the village unataka kurudi mashambani na ujishughulishe na watu wa mashambani all do give sacrifices at the shrines ambao hutoa sadaka zao katika oh pray facing mount kenya ambao wanaomba wakielekea mlima kenya oh pray facing uh, kuna mawe mengine huko ukambani inaitwa mawe ya nzambani wanaomba wakielekea katika mawe ya zamani they say once you go around that that stone it's a big stone wanasema ukizunguka hilo jiwe ni kubwa at your agenda will be changed kwamba utabadilishwa have you ever heard it? that's a myth it's not truth sio kweli you want to do things in your community way unataka kufanya mambo kulingana na tamaduni you who know you are god wewe ambaye unamjua mungu wako you who know the word wewe ambaye unajua neno Where can you stand your ground like Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego? Kwa nini usisimame wima kama wale watatu? And stand to be counted. Na ukaweze kuhesabika. Where can you stand your ground like Daniel? Kwa nini usisimame wima kama Daniel? Mpaka watu wa uko wenu waseme this is the God that we will follow. Hadi watu wa uko wenu waseme kwamba tutamfuata. The God of our sister. Mungu wa dada yetu. The God of our son. Mungu wa mtoto wetu. Why can't you stand your ground? Kwa nini usisimame wima? The reason why we stand just much timing. Sababu kwa nini sisi tunasimama tukiwa hatuja tukilegelegea. It is like we are going but we are not going. Ni kwamba tunaenda na hatuendi. When somebody looks at us from a far distance. Wakati mtu anachuchizama kutoka mbali. Somebody may see us as though we are much we are walking. Mtu ange anaweza kutuona ni kama tunatembea. But we are stuck Lakini tumesimama pale. Because we have failed to know our God. Sababu tumekosa kubali. Today you will know your God. Ile siku utamjua Mungu wako. That is the day. Hiyo ndio siku that you make a difference in your life utafanya utofauti katika maisha yako the day that you make the declaration ile siku ambayo utafanya tangazo and say from now ends forth na useme kuanzia leo kuendelea it is god ni mungu and it is god na ni mungu tu na ni god na ni mungu peke yake ni mungu peke yake that's the day you will see god hiyo ndio siku utamwona mungu The year 2024. Mwaka wa 2024. Let us say like Job. Wacha tuseme kama Yohana. Job in the last chapter. Ayubu katika milango ya mwisho. After going home oh, what he went through. Baada kupitia yale yote ambayo alipitia. This is what Job said. Hivi ndivyo Ayubu alisema. God. Mungu. I have been hearing about you. Nimekuwa nikisikia kukuhusu. I have been hearing. Nimekuwa nikisikia. Job chapter chapter 44. Ayubu mlango ni 44 Not 44 42 Mlango ni 42 Verses 5 starting from verses 5 Kuanzia mstari wa 5 Give us 42 from verses 5 Tupe Ayubu 42 Let us see what Job says Wacha tuone kile ambacho alisema Job went through all what he went Baada kupitia yale yote This is this is the declaration of Job Hili ndilo tangazo lake Ayubu I have heard of you by the hearing of my ears Nimekusikia kwa masikio yangu I have heard of you being preached by Bishop John Sewe Nimekusikia ukihubiriwa na askofu I have a heard you been preached by Pastor Wambua. Nimekusikia ukihubiriwa na mchungaji Wambua. I have I have heard people testify about you. 
Nimesikia watu wakishuhudia kukuhusu. Remain there in that chapter was chapter 42. Pale. Salia pale pale. I have heard of you by the hearing of my ears. Nimekusikia kwa masikio yangu. But now. Lakini sasa. My eyes. Macho yangu. Sisi. Yanakuona. When will you see God? Wewe utamwona Mungu lini? When will you graduate from hearing? Utahitimu vipi kutoka kwa kusikia? To sing. Hadi kwa kuona. Sing the words of the Lord. Kuona kazi zake Bwana. David said this in his old age. Daudi akasema hivi katika uzee wake. David said I was young. Daudi akasema nalikuwa mtoto. I was a young boy. Nalikuwa kijana mtoto. But now I'm old. Lakini sasa mimi nimekuwa. With white hairs in my head. Nikiwa na nywele nyeupe kwenye kichwa. I've never seen. Sijawahi ona. A child of a righteous man. Mwana wa mtu mwenye haki. Baking for bread. Akiomba mkate. That's what it ought to be. Hivyo ndivyo inapaswa kuwa. Lakini kwa ground sio hivyo. Lakini kwa ground vitu ni tofauti. Vitu ni tofauti. Kwa nini vitu ziwe tofauti kwa ground? Kwa nini vitu ziwe tofauti? And in the spiritual realm that's what is ought to be. Ile hali katika ulimwengu wa kiroho inapaswa kuwa hivyo. We are brethren we have now to to, to, to elevate ourselves we have to graduate from the level of hearing to the level of seeing we will only see if we will know our god the year 2024 Mwaka wa 2024. Let me give you a sure bet. Wacha nikupe hakikisho. And a date like today. Wakati kama leo. Stand here to testify. Utasimama. This is now the sure bet. Hii ni sure bet. The year 2024. Mwaka wa 2024. Make a declaration that you will walk with God 100%. Fanya natangazwa kwamba utatembea na Mungu 100%. 2024. 2024. Make a declaration that no more carnality in your life. Sema kwamba fanya tangazo hakuna umwili tena kwenye maisha yako. Mtu ambaye atakukujia kwako na mambo ya mshenese, a a a a wachana na mimi. Mtu akikuja na mshene mwambie hapana. Live 100% for God. Ishi 100% for God. Exploits. Na kisha makuu. Exploits. Mambo makuu. In the book of Matthew. Katika kitabu cha Matthew 19 verses 26. Matayo 19:26. Matthew 26 verses 19 verses 26. Matayo 19:26. Matthew 19 verses 26. Matayo 19:26. Jesus but Jesus looked at them and said to them. Ila Yesu akawatazama na kuambia. With men this is impossible. Kwa wanadamu hii haiwezekani. But with God all things are possible. Lakini naye Mungu mambo yote yanawezekana. With God whom you are neglecting. Naye Mungu ambaye wewe unapuzilia. With God whom you are putting aside. Naye Mungu ambaye wewe unamweka kando. All things. Mambo yote. All things. Mambo yote. The things that you have been waiting for. Mambo ambayo umekuwa for God to do in your life it is possible the only problem is you because you are living for God 50-50 you are with God but it is like you are not with God Matthew 6 Verses 33. Matayo 6:33. Matthew 6 verses 33. Matayo 6:33. But if fast, lakini mwanzo. Fast. Mwanzo. Fast things fast. Mwanzo inamaanisha mwanzo. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Lakini kwanza all these shall be added to you. Tafuta kwanza ufalme wake Mungu na utakatifu wake na mengine hayo yote utaongezewa. Seek ye the kingdom of God. Tafuta kwanza ufalme wake Mungu. Seek to know the will of God. Tafuta kujua mapenzi ya Mungu. Line sumwa soft to the word of God. Jinsi vile kwamba Live the way the word of God tells you to live. Ishi jinsi vile neno lake Mungu linakuambia uishi. 
What is wicked? Call it wicked. Kile ambacho ni kiovu, kiite kiovu. Those small foxes. Hao mbwa wadogo wadogo. Hao mbwa wadogo wadogo. Solomon anasema ashikiwe. Shika hawa hao mbwa wadogo wadogo. Hao wanaoharibu misabibu. Hao wanaofanya usipanikiwe. Hao wanaofanya uishi vile ulivyo. Hao wanaofanya kwamba mwanzo wa mwaka ulichukua karatasi ukanakili. Mambo ambayo unataka Mungu akutendee na mpaka siku ya leo hayatendeka. Shida si Mungu, maana Mungu ni yeye yule jana leo na hata milele ajabandilika nguvu aliyokuwa nazo tangia mwanzo hako nazo mpaka hata siku ya leo. Maandamu tabandilika uachane na mambo ya kuishi duma kuwili you are here you are there uko kwa Mungu na bado unasumbuliwa na umwili bado wewe mtu mshenene mtu wa kawaida there is no difference between you and the heathens God is waiting for you Mungu to make a mungu. difference the day you will make a difference then God will also make a difference ile siku utafanya utofauti na Mungu atafanya utofauti This is now the sure bet. Hiyo ndio hakikisho. Make a difference. Fanya utofauti in your Christianity life. Katika maisha yako ya Ukristo. Once you make a difference. Pindi tu utafanya utofauti. Wait upon God. Mngoje Mungu. Seek with the first the kingdom of God. Tafuta kwanza ufalme wake Mungu. But we are full of carnality. Lakini tumejaa umwili. Mungu atusaidie wapendwa. Mungu atusaidie. Mungu atusaidie. Kwa sababu we are the way we are not because of God. Tuko vile tuko kwa sababu ya Mungu. Because of our choice. Lakini kwa sababu ya chaguo letu. Oh what you want? Kile chochote ambacho unahitaji. It is ready for you. Kiko tayari kwako. Ready for you. Kiko tayari kwako. Imagine Tafakari. You have been given a bank check. Umeweza kupewa check. It is only you to sign. Ni wewe tu utie sahihi. But you have reviewed it to sign. Lakini umekata kutia sahihi. Others have signed. God is waiting upon us. Mungu anatungojea. I tell you in the year 2024. Ninakuambia katika mwaka wa 2024. This is a sure bet. Hili If we will change. Ikiwa utabadilika. And streamline our steps into the God's way. Na uweke tuweke tujue katika njia zake Mungu. We will have more than 20 cars in fact here outside Tutakuwa na in including mine ilikiwemo gari lake mtu the year 2024 i'm telling you nawaambia god is not a problem mungu sio shida the problem is us shida ni sisi you know the bible tells me this biblia inaniambia hivi that the things that the heathens hold mambo ambayo watu wa mataifa wako nayo they have been set apart in fact they are there just waiting for me yako pale yanatungoja but i will not receive them by bishop john sewe standing here saying receive receive lakini sitapokea work ni kutfanya kazi kwa bidii let me jump here and say receive Re- nikiruka hapa nikisema pokea nonsense those are noises kuposema pokea pokea in stand up standing here and telling you to receive badala ya kusema hapa nikisema pokea let me just tell you the way to receive wacha tu nikwambie jinsi ya kupokea because the way to receive it's it, it, it's the way kwa sababu jinsi ya kupokea ndio njia telling you the way to receive is the way kukuonyesha na kuambia telling you to receive to receive those are noises lakini kukwambia tu pokea pokea hiyo ni kelele i will tell you receive 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 until you get hold na nikwambia pokea pokea hadi utazeeka you want to receive nataka kupokea know your god jua mungu wako know you are god jua mungu wako walk with god tembea naye mungu this is my resolution for the year 2024 hizi ndizo resolution zake 2024 i'm turning this place this is me to be my prayer mountain anabadilisha mahali hapa pawe mlima wake wa maombi the friday prayers from this coming friday i'm here kuanzia maombi ya ijuma ijuma I'm turning this until I see God. Hadi atakapomwona Mungu. Me I'm tired. Amechoka. Me I'm tired. Mchungaji amechoka. Nani amechoka kama mimi? Na hii maisha hii maisha hii maisha ya hivi 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 kungangana kungangana unangangana unangangana. Let I serve a mighty God. Ili hali na mtumiki. Who says silver and gold belongs to me. Fedha na dhahabu ni zangu. Every cattle in the thousand hills are mine. That's my father God. Huyo ni Mungu wangu, Bwana wangu. Na ninasumbuliwa tu na pesa kidogo school fees ya watoto. 
Mm -mm. I'm turning this place to be my prayer mountain in the year 2024. So join me. I want us by this year a date like today. Everybody in this meeting to have a testimony. What the Lord will have done into our lives. And this will only work this will only work by knowing your God and having time with him. You see, sometimes back sometimes back I was not so close to Bishop the way you are. In fact, I was anointing. You mafuta lazima uyeshimu. So ninge moana to hi. But the more I get closer to him, the more breakthroughs follow me. There are principles that you cannot break. If you want to to stand in it in your life. And this is how God works. Start speaking negativity against your leaders. May it be your group leader. Uenda akawa ajaenda shule. Uenda haja soma. Uenda ikawa wewe ambao na kuongoza ukona PhD. Uenda wewe una masomo makubwa. With God. Nae mungu. God uses the weak, weak vessels Mungu vyombo vile kabisa. to bring shame to them that think they are strong. Kwa kile That's why kiku. Paul said, Nazimamaya jiangalie sana, asija kaanguka. Wewe ambao nae jiona, you are better. Check yourself. Because the Bible says, for pride comes before a fall. Pride of seeing yourself as though you are better than. That's an evil spirit. Jesus said, sometimes wanafunzi wa Yesu wakamuliza Yesu. Katikati ya zisi wanafunzi wake. Ni nani alie mkuu? Peter pengine alifikiria Yesu atamambia ni wewe Peter sababu wewe unakuanga tu kielele sana. Sayote unanifuata. But Yesu akawambia alie mkuu ni alie mtumishi wanyinyi nyote. Siri ni kukua mtumishi. Lakini wewe utaki kuwa mtumishi. Wewe ni kufuta chini watumishi. Mbona Yesu asifiwe? Amen. Mbona muna neangalia na strange eyes? Hallelujah. The year 2024. Mwaka 2024. May it be a year of a difference in this ministry. May it be a year of a difference. Wacha uwe mwaka wa utofauti. Wacha kungangana kusiwe semu yetu. Amen. Wacha maisha ya kungangana, kungangana, kungangana. Kungangana, hata kununua kasuti mpia ni kungangana. Hata hiyo siku watoto walilala njani ya ununua kasuti mpia. Hata hiyo siku mama alikosa fasa ya chama Ndiyo ununue kiatu Hiyo si semu yetu This is the truth of the matter Hiyo si semu yetu Na ndiyo maana ikuwe semu yetu Something is amiss somewhere Kuna kitu kina kusika na mali Something must be amiss Hazima kuna kitu kime haribi kamali Kama Daudi anasema from my childhood I'm now an old imse I've never 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 seen a child of a righteous man borrowing bread. Why now? Why now? Something is amiss. Something is amiss. And if we cannot correct that thing which is amiss, then we will continue living the way we are living. The year 2024. Make a, in your resolutions. Katika resolutions zako. Number one. Mwanzo. Andika hivi. Andika hivi. That I will be reading the word of God daily. Kwa mba nitakuwa ni kisoma. Because if you are not a leader of this word, then you will never know you are God. Usipo soma hili neno hautawai mjia mungu wako. Because God is in this book. Mana mungu yuko katika kitabu hiki. If you want to know God, be a friend to this book. Kwa rafiki wa kitabu hiki. Because he is in this book. Kwa sababu yuko katika kitabu hiki. He says that 
He honors his word. And his name. His word, this word. You will know God through this word. You minus this word. You will never know God. You will only be hearing about God. I want us to graduate from hearing to knowing. Amen. If you come midweek to this bishop's hobbies, people even from outside, people who are not members of this church, unapatanga wana subwa bishop wale kwa ofisi. Bishop unemefungiwa nyumba. Bishop, oh, bishop sina chakula. Bishop, one, kuwa mfanye kazi. Kama una kazi, be creative. Kama una kazi, kwa... That's the world that we are in. We are living in the world of creativity. That's why I took on a CBC. Okay, on a CBC, chenye wanafunzu wa kupika chapati, ndi wake malisa kama wata pata kazi, waza kupika chapikia watu chapati wakiuza. Wanafunzu wa kushona nguo, mukikosa kazi, shoneni manguo. Kila siku watu watavaa manguo. Be creative. Kwa mbunifu. Because you cannot say I'm waiting upon God. Kwa sababu wezi sema kwa mana mgoji ya mungu. Sitting high door. Bible says God says the word of God says I will bless the work of your hands if you don't do job then which work God will you bless siku hili ingine waki our deputy president yaki aki wafalisha kofia lewambia aje nina wafalisha lakini hakuna nini Hakuna kazi. So endeni tuna hakuna ka? Kwa ni mbona ninyi ni wambia kuna kazi? Na kazi hakuna. Lakini be creative. Kwa mbunifu. Mimi for the last 20 years, sija uwa ipata mushara ya mtu. Nimekua tu niki, niki aso. Na niki aso hii, nikiona inakonga ukuta, ninabandilisha. Uza mutumba. Ukiona mutumba inabandilisha, ingia kwa mandizi. Ukiona mandisi inaleta mcha, ingia kwa viazitamu. Ukiona viazitamu inaleta kichwa, bandilisha ingia kwa mutumba. Mutumba ikileta kichwa, ingia izili. Amen. Ukiona hii, anza kupika chapati hapa kwa barabara, na watu watakula. Be creative. Kwa mbunifu. Usiseme, mimi ni mashinda kwa maombi, I want to know God, I want to know, yes, them who know their God, they know you are God, then work. Because also working is a part of knowing God. Because in the book of Isaiah says, in the book of Isaiah 62, 63, 64, Mungu hauta panda na wengine wapune. Hauta jenga manyumba, hauta jenga nyumba na mwingine hai. Daima Mungu watabariki kasi ya mikono yako. Hauta jenga nyumba na mwingine ya ishi. Hauta panda na mwingine ya vune. We unataka mwingine ya pande, unataka get root ye ya kienda kukazini, ya kienda kupanda, atina we umufuate nyuma, unataka kufuna chenyale panda. Haita weze kana wezi mungu wetu. Mungu wetu ni mungu wanae barigi kasi ya mikono yako. Be creative. Kuwa mbunifu. Them who know they are God. Wale amba wanamjua mungu wahu. Have something to do. Wake up in the morning. Tell God. God, as I move out. To do this which I do for the living. It may look foolish. But God uses the foolish things. The things that people despise. To ashamed the strong. Let us stand up on our feet. Me, I'm looking forward for the year 2024 to see a difference. Mike, let, let us make. In fact, it is us to make. Let me say this. It is us to make, not God. God, you say, when you take your first step, you take with God. When you stop, God stops. You cannot stop, then you expect God. We are co-workers with God. We are co-workers 
sisi ni watenda kazi pamoja na Mungu. Wewe mainasi Mungu hakuna. Na Mungu mainasi wewe, Mungu atatenda wewe kama hauko. Wewe umelala unatarajia Mungu ako haitawahi kuwa. Haya maisha si karata. Haya maisha si si, si patapotea. You can only make your life the way you want it to be. That's what I do believe. Amen. Amen. Tukutane kesha. Kesha itakuwa mzuri. Na kesha itakuwa. Kesha ya leo, itakuwa kesha like no other. Amen. Inuwa mikono yako. Baba ni asanti ni kwa ajili ya maisha yetu. Mufalume wa ajabu. Wapendwa hawa, wanao. Baba na wakabithi mikono ni mwako. Baba, wewe mungu utupehae mawazo. Wewe mungu utunguwae akili zetu. Fungua akili zetu. Wacha tukaone mbali. Ondoa kila kizuizi, kila pazia. Ambao imekuwa bwana imetufunika. Imefunika sisi imetufanya vivovu. Kwa amba tusione mbali. Na yondo yu basia. Wacha tukaone mbali. Wacha bwana tukapate tuka, tuka mawazo mapya. Wacha milango mipya ikafunguke katika maisha yetu. Baba bariki kasi ya mikono yetu. Bariki jia zetu. Wacha ukatubariki tutokapo na turudipo. Jinsi ambapo umetuahidi kwa neno lako. Kwamba utatubariki tunapotoka na tunapurudi. Wacha handiko hilo likatimia maisha ni mwetu. Baba tukakuone. Mama tunapomaliza huu mwaka. Uenda ikawa mengi ambao tulitarajia ya jatimika. Lakini ujabandilika. Wewe bado ungali mungu. Wewe ungali bado na nguvu na uweza. Wewe ungali bado katika kiti chako cha henzi. Kwako hakuna jambo lisilo wesekana. Ni kweli kwamba hatukuweza. Ni kweli kwamba haikuwesekana. Lakini kuwa haikuwesekana si mwisho. Baba tuingia po mwaka wa 2024. Wajabwa na ikashirie mwanzo mpya katika maisha yetu. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Naomba na kuamini. Amen.